Previously on The Walking Dead. No! You monsters! <laughs> You're a piece of work, you know that? Garcias! Oh, you, you, you shook my goddamn guts out! <laughs> Joe was in on it! We did it on her orders! I'm... I'm sorry! It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag! I'll help you! I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this! We don't need your help. I'm begging you! Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. I knew I could count on you, brother. They were our family, David. Could you? Piece of shit! I'll give you family! Strike one! I'm out of practice, that's all. Yeah, same here. I haven't held a bat since the league booted me. Well, you got all afternoon to get back in your groove. <sighs> oh yeah. Just holding this thing makes me feel better. You doing okay? Uh, I've been wrestling with something. Hey! Hey man, you're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. Sure thing, kid. Oh, man! Thank you! Who do I make this out to? Oh, no, no. N no names. Band players' signatures are worth way more on resale than personalized crap. <laughs> Just your name is fine. D don't date it or anything. <sighs> Hope you like it. Oh, yeah! I might get ten bucks for this! You gotta keep those fans happy, big star. Let's get back to baseball. Well, it's out of here! Holy cow! You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah, you should try it. <sighs> Son of a bitch! Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. Jeez, you gotta learn to relax, David. What do you suggest? Put some money on it? You know I don't do that anymore. I still can't believe you actually wanted to come here. If I were in your situation, and avoid batting cages forever. Well, thanks for bringing me anyway. I needed the distraction. Oh, Garcia's on fire! I think your ego's boosted plenty. Next time, we go to the shooting range. I don't really shoot. 
but I do, and I'm good at it. Ow. Fuck. You gotta shut up. Stupid thing. Garcia takes one for the team. That's gotta hurt. God damn it, Javi. I fucking warned you. I remember I showed you how to play this game. Well, let this superstar return the favor. Watch this. Oh my god, the crowd is going wild! I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David... You're leaving already? You said you were happy, so I'm done here. Come on, I thought we'd hang out all day. I'm not gonna spend all day as your cheerleader. You're a grown-up, and I've had enough. What's going on? David, I, I don't understand. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. Oh, take a breath. I'll hear you out, but this doesn't have to be an argument. I'm worried about you, man. I can't be the star's older brother anymore. I gotta go where I can be my own man. My job sucks. Kate and I fight like cats and dogs. I belong back in the army. I had a purpose there. I had respect. Dude, g going back to the army isn't gonna fix what's wrong with your life. You should just, you know, think this through a little more. I have been thinking it through. For months. Things between me and Kate have been going downhill for a while. But if I left, it seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. <sighs> My mom and dad will worry themselves sick. You didn't see how stressed they got last time you deployed. Life's hard for everybody, Javi. Except you. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. It's your family, David, not mine. You gotta stay here to help them. Typical selfish... You don't know shit about family. Come on. I wanna get out of here now. Get in there. I let you go. On the road, remember? Can't you help us now? Of course I remember. That's why I haven't shot you already. That's how I'm helping you. Jones making a huge mistake. No, you made a mistake when you murdered Lonnie. Hey, everybody just take a breath, all right? I was just trying to tell them. And that's your mistake right there. You can't fight everybody. Understand that Jones not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this, but you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. I know you Richmond folks are a little flexible when it comes to doing what's right. I don't buckle just because it's the easy thing to do. You talk a big game, but talk isn't going to get you out of this mess. You boys want to make it out of here. Just relax and trust in the process. This is bad. What are we gonna do? I killed Lonnie. Christ. How could he turn on me like that? David, hey! I thought I had it handled. All of this is my goddamn fault. I should have seen it coming, but I dropped the ball. Big time. You pushed the wrong people too far. Now we're all gonna pay the price. After what happened with Kate, I told myself I'd go easier on people. And now this! Take it easy! I don't want them to suffer for my mistakes. Not Kate. Definitely not Gabe. I keep doing this, making the same stupid mistakes. Remember when you wanted to run away and re-enlist? 
Yeah, you talked me out of it. And you fought to keep your family. You can do it again. Now. Listen to me carefully. I don't care what's gonna happen to me. I'm most worried about Kate and Gabe. They gotta survive, no matter what. You don't have to worry. They're safe for now. We have to get them out of town. Both of us. You're right. No matter what we do, Jones already poisoned this well. We've got to figure a way out of Richmond. All of us? All of us. This time tomorrow, we'll be together and safe. You never give up on anybody. And I'm not going to give up on you. So glad to see you boys getting along. Armed escort? You're that scared to face me? Oh, David. I'm not scared of you. I came here to talk, not fight. You're not going to be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. I won't be a problem if you let us go. In fact, I may even be friendly. I'm sorry. I can't do that. <laughs> but I like what you're trying to do. And people had concerns about me coming here after the way you murdered Lonnie, David. But I know what the real danger here is. And you need to hear about it. I think everyone in this town is dangerous. They are when they're scared and hungry. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. The real danger was another long winter. I should have been told about this. David, you remember how many friends we lost last year. I couldn't bear to see it happen again. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to call for a gathering in the square. The people deserve to hear a full explanation of your arrest. And then? Then you'll be replaced as head of security. No one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. Your scheme is going to blow up in your face. You just wait. I really hope not. I'm responsible for the lives of everyone in this community. You set me up. Everyone's gonna see through your lies. I did what I had to do to keep the people of Richmond safe. They're going to see that. And they'll also see that the biggest threat to them right now is you. <laughs> we'll debate all of this in the morning. Right now, David, I need to ask you some questions in private. Bring him with us. Get out of here. Ugh, nothing useful here. Could squeeze through there. Those boards come loose. Hmm. I'm not gonna get up there from this bench. <clears throat> nope. No time to rest. That doesn't look very sturdy. Huh. That pipe looks loose. Long time since I hit the showers. Oh, and I could use one. Too bad there's no running water in here.
I've been looking everywhere for you. Gabe? Where'd they take Dad? I don't know yet. Help me get out of here. These bars are loose. Help me pry them off. I can't do it. Can you help? Nice work, Gabe. Now, give me a hand. What's all that noise? It's a herd. They're outside the walls. This way. Come on. Kate didn't want to stay at Dad's house. Where are you taking me? Eleanor found a place. She sent me to find you. Thank God for Eleanor. She's a lifesaver. She saved Kate, and I'll never forget it. <sighs> I was pretty scared. Me too, buddy. Me too. We should probably keep moving. I can't believe you found me. I looked everywhere. Huh. Nice work. Thank you. They've still got your dad, though. He's gonna be okay, right? I mean, these are his people. They're just arguing, aren't they? He's negotiating with them now. He'll work it out. Let's just see what happens, okay? All clear. Come on. Kate keeps pushing us to leave. You have to make her stay. We have to stay until Dad's free. We can't leave Dad here. I'll talk to her. I'll try to convince her. Good. It's important. Hold up. gone wrong here, hasn't it? We should be safe in this town. We'll fix it for us when we get your dad back and our family back together. Okay. That's Eleanor's place. We made it. Great. Let's get in there. Oh, that was close. Yeah. This wasn't so busy before. What are they up to? Come on. Let's get inside.
about this, and I really think we should be a thing. I'm sorry. I don't know if I feel like that. That way. Look, I just don't know. It's shown me that I'm good at helping people. He's still pissed at me? Just shut up while I'm hugging you. You know they don't want any of the rest of us like they want you. Would you be happy never seeing me again? I just can't do this now. Oh, hey. Uh, hey. Trip, look who's here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, <clears throat> where have you been? You guys need some time or... No, it's cool. It's fine. What is going on here in Richmond? You know more about this place than the rest of us. Joan lied. She's trying to remove David from power. Told you we couldn't trust him. I'm sorry about what's going on with David, but we should have gotten out of here when we had the chance. We still need to get out of here, Javi. Let's go. We need a plan. We almost got caught last time, when we just made a run for it. Have you guys even looked out the window? Go look for yourself. Oh. Holy shit. Javi, even if you did get your brother free, you're not going to be able to go anywhere. Look at that. We should have left when we had a chance. Now we're stuck here. I'm sorry. I should have left with you. I think the entire world's fucked right now. It seems like we're in danger within this place and without. I, for one, would feel a whole lot safer with a few more guns to protect ourselves. Is that the smartest move to make right now? That's crazy. We'll need to make sure we can defend ourselves. No matter what we do next. Okay? Defend? That's all you're doing? I don't want to risk us losing anybody else. But you don't seem to mind that. They will be coming for us. I know where there's guns. My dad showed me. There are lots. The armory. Good idea. A small group should go. Okay. Sounds like a plan. We'll get back here as soon as we can. Good luck. Come here. Kate, I... Just be careful. Look, Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. It happens, especially these days. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just I don't know what to do. Just follow your heart. That's all any of us have left anymore, right? Thanks, man. I'll talk it over with Eleanor and watch over things here. You've got my word. I won't let anything happen to anyone. Thank you. Javi, come on! Good luck. Stay frosty, gents. What's that mean? Like, stay cool, buddy.
Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool? I've done this before, Avi. No, you haven't, Gabe. Not really. Some decisions, you make them in a split second, and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? <sighs> yeah, I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? Your father trusts her, and we trust him, right? Yeah. Then we should be okay. I hope. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone, other than you and Kate, Mariana. Trustworthy people don't lie about small stuff. After you catch the first whiff of their bullshit, that's when you cut somebody loose. Better safe than sorry. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. Ava said it'd be this way. It's down here. The guns are through that door. Locked. No time to look for a key either. to do this the hard way. Put these in your bag. We've never done this before. Just you and me. We make a pretty good team, right? The uncle-nephew one-two punch. It's not over yet. We need to keep our heads in the game. Ah, oh, you're right. Sorry to scare you. When we get back to Eleanor's, we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place. I'll meet you at the entrance.
freeze! Get away from me! Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'm so sorry. Yes, I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have to get back to the others. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah, just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Who were you expecting? I know this wouldn't exactly look innocent to Joan or David. Is it innocent? Yes, I guess, I think so. I'm mostly here to talk with Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. It's better than nothing, though. Alright. Go for it. But if I lose my arm, that's on you. Ha ha, you'll be fine. I've dealt with worse. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem, are you okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like... Why is it... I just don't understand. It means you're... growing up. Blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. Your body is, is developing, and then things change, but it, it'll be okay. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. We need to find a needle and thread to stitch you up first. Oh, uh, right. <sighs> Wake up! Talk to me! Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Dr. Lingard? Can you hear me? <sighs> Does he look like he can hear you? Wake up! Talk to me! Wow, that 
guy is really out of it. Penicillin? Not what I'm looking for. Codeine? Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. No thanks. Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay. Hold still. Try not to breathe. Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you wanted. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say I was a natural-born mother. It's a butterfly! <laughs> Goofball, want another? Which one to do next? Hmm. How about... Bark, bark! Down, boy. <laughs> That's a pretty good dog. Always used to do that one for Duck. He'd laugh his ass off. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, grab the lighter out the duffel, will you? Just a second, goofball. Voila! Hey! Get away from him! Is he okay? Shh. Still not bitten, little guy. You know, first time I saw you holding AJ, it just looked so natural. Somewhere up there, his mama is looking down on you. Grateful for what you're doing. Always putting him first. She called me family. I owe it to her. You're the only mama he's got now. Protective, loving, caring. All the things a good parent needs to be, and all at your age. But parenthood is a hell of a motivator, though. <laughs> That's for sure. That kind of love. It's worth dying for. I guess that's what Katya felt when Duck... Well... Well, that was a, a long time ago. Ooh... Kids as sick of the cold as I am. So I've been thinking... It's no use surviving out here, hoping that Wellington will take us in someday. 
I bet we find some good people down in Florida. Maybe even a little friend for this goofball. Wouldn't that be nice? We could use the company. AJ could use a friend his own age. I remember when you and Duck used to color together back at the motel. Helped him forget about all this. For a moment, anyway. I'm sure it helped you, too. Life doesn't mean much without people you can relate to. Sarita always said, family is what you make it. She was right. I'm sorry for all this sappy shit. I guess I'm just... happy. Huh. First time in a while. All right, all right, all right. Enough sap, Kenny. <laughs> How about this one, little man? <laughs> We've got each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. said I was more of a mom than she'd ever be. <sighs> this stinks. Literally and figuratively. At least this is the last of them. From here on out, we have housed to ourselves. Sounds nice, right? Now we just need some disinfectant. Get that smell out of there once and for all. Sounds great. Just you, me, and the goofball. Geronimo. Carver got what was coming, but just look at him. It takes a fucking monster to do that. Kenny and Carver deserved each other. Both crazy pieces of shit. No good to anyone. The world is better without them. You're right. Kenny was a monster. That's why he had to go. Let's get out of here. Never want to look at that sick fuck's body again. Here, take a load off. I've got the little goofball. Hope he hasn't eaten too recently. He hasn't. Good. The last thing I need is to be covered in puke again. Don't puke on me, kid. You hear me? Remember what I taught you. Sweep and stab. Come on, we can get out this way. You know, 
I was pretty worried about you back there. But I guess I didn't need to be. You had things handled. Like usual. That's because I learned from the best. I'm glad you're okay. If only Rebecca could see you two together. You guys don't even need me. They just get in the way. You're more than capable on your own. You proved that back there. Your family. We're all family. Rebecca would feel the same way. Thanks, Clem. Go on, take him. He wants his other mom. Thanks, Clem. We'll always have each other. As long as we have that, we'll be okay. Who's there? All right, all right. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I know how pissed you are, Clementine. Spitting on David really got that message across. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorry about what happened. It wasn't easy for any of us. You have to believe that. I'm going to get AJ back. You can't keep me away forever. That's just not going to happen, Clem. Look, it's not much, but... Here. David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... Now you're just screwing with me. No, Clem, we just... Am I supposed to just thank you for this? We just thought you'd want something to remember him by. Listen, it's dangerous out here, and right now, you're hurting. Whatever you do, you can't let what happened get to you. You need to keep a level head. Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. That's all you can do. For me, staying alive has always been about finding people I could trust as much as they trusted me. That's what the new frontier has been. A silver lining. Made me feel worth a damn. Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. You people stole mine. You know that. You'll just have to find something new that- Shut the hell up. From the first time we met right here, surrounded by absolute hell, you and AJ were a light in the darkness. Hope for a better world. That's who you are. Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. 
It's what makes you special, Clem. Okay, I promise. You're a tough kid. Don't change. <sighs> I should get back before anyone notices I'm gone. Remember to keep the focus on you now, Clem. And when you need a little extra support, there's an old airfield about ten or so miles south of here. Prescott. There are good people there. I'm sure they'll help you out. I'll miss having you around, Clem. You're going to be okay. Thanks, Ava. Good luck out there, Clem. That's what keeps me going. There's things I have to stay alive to do. <sighs> so, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. Nice work. Thanks. Just glad I could help. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. <sighs> Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotting in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Despite all her pleasantries, she's a cruel bitch. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... He's not getting out. Guess there's only one... sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up. Took personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. Clem can be the judge of that. She doesn't need to be. As a doctor, I'm telling you, he's in better shape now than when I first saw him. That was because he was sick. He would have stayed sick too if I had listened to you, doctor. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about then. You... You want to know where the boy is? What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Are you crazy? That's just the way it is. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Javi, I have to know.
I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? So be it. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Buddy. Oh, hey. Uh, hi, Clementine. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Mm, good to see you. You're back! And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's gotta be a stressful job. Looking after an entire community? He was definitely not 100% there. That's for sure. Sounds about right. Why don't you go talk to Kate, okay? Okay. The sun will be rising in a few hours. Joan's people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think, fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you, doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. Hey, we can do this! Yeah! We've gotten out of tougher jams before, haven't we? I mean, sure. But this is different. We can't just cut and run. Not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated. From us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. We move in fast. Guns blazing and we take her out. Couple of bullets. Problem solved. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck. A big one. That we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are going to be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's parked. <laughs> I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. 
A guard came after me and he stabbed me in the shoulder. I thought you guys were gonna be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? As long as he keeps it clean, it should be okay. Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? It happened. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. It's not a bad place to start. And it's good you want to help. We've got to talk it through before we settle on anything. Just as long as I get to come along. Not that I don't appreciate the can-do attitude, but I don't know if you're invited, little man. I think I agree with Trip. Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. No way anybody is dying. Not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through. So everybody comes out okay. Nobody here is going to let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. But you thought killing him would be easier. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him! You killed him! What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? You looked me in the eyes, man! He had a gun on them! If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Or maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out, and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. Come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. Keeping watch is an important job, too. Not as important as getting that truck. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. Any more? 
pushing. Those boards won't hold up. for an escape. What's going on? Thanks. For what? Helping out with Gabe. He's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I'm just doing what I can. Let's keep looking for that truck. You got it. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. There it is. Let's go. Chances. I'd say about 50-50. Smart ass. They say how long it's gonna take for them to finish up here. People keep getting pushed on the project. They're months behind. Hell yeah. This graveyard shift is killing. Me. Oh, let me get some of that. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? can't start the engine, not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are going to get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Ready? Ready. Ready. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. I'm glad you were here, okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. Try not to shock yourself. Shit. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. 
Here goes. Wire cutter should help with this. Gotta connect the battery to the ignition. Let there be light. The square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <sighs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. It's nice to be driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. Really Where takes you back, you doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe no, and Mari. Kind of ah, yes. The days of scrubbing up Chuck out of the upholstery. <laughs> I don't miss that. I never realized just how much kids could vomit until I was trapped in a car with them 24-7. Or how far. <laughs> gotcha. Come on, that's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He light likes her. You get it? I hope it works out for them. I really do. They're good for each other. I think. Think their first official date will be target practice? Then skinning and eating a wild animal. Uh, young love. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet. Is it bad if I kinda envy them? Those early days, before you get up the courage to say exactly what's on your mind. You never get those back, do you? No. No, you don't. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and... When that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. 
I'm here so I can set an example for people. For Gabe especially. Someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all. <laughs> but before whatever happens tomorrow happens, I need you to know Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I'd really like to know before things get crazy. Let's go for it. We gotta try, right? Oh my god, really? Really. So, are we gonna... Okay. Yeah. Shit. We're doing this. You do realize we're gonna have to have a weird conversation with David, right? It's the right way to play this. He already got the sense I was pulling away. I just want to be able to tell him in person. It'll feel better that way. That would be the stand-up thing to do in this situation. Can I just say how lame doing the stand-up thing is, though? Oh, it's super lame. Javi, it's an execution over here. She's planning to hang David in front of the whole crowd. You've got to get over here, now. Don't bring the truck. If they see it, they'll kill him right away. If you can just get into the square... Shit. We got to get over there. Now. Here, with the truck. Keep the walkie close by. We'll tell you as soon as we've got David. Good luck. Nothing else from Ava? Nope. And it sounds like a crowd out there. It sounded like Ava got cut off by something. Or somebody. Wish we had some idea of what we're heading into. Like, is the whole plan shot? Or did she just have a little setback? I hate not knowing. We can't get distracted. I don't know what happened on the other side, but it doesn't change what we have to do. I just wish we had a little more information. That's all. We're not gonna know what went wrong until we actually do this thing. So, let's do it already. You ready? Ready as I'm gonna be. Glad to hear it. for the others, can we? For years now, Richmond has been governed by one simple principle. Strong council, strong community. But, unfortunately, the actions of one of the members of that council, our security expert, David Garcia, have put us all She's in... lying to all of you! I'm sorry to have to show you this. Truly, I am. But you all need to see. Just look what he's done. He murdered these men in cold blood. I saw him murder Lonnie with my own eyes. Some of the best men I ever knew cut down in their prime. Is this who we want in charge? Someone this reckless. This cruel? Not if I have anything to do with it. 
can't believe this is really happening. She's gonna kill him. She can't do this to him. He's kept him safe. I knew Joan was willing to fight dirty, but this is taking it to the next level. We gotta be ready to match her game. I think you're right. Javier! I heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Happy to. Been waiting for this all day. Then I'll try not to disappoint you. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. She said you were coming here today to take me out. Add to your total. Don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. If you knew what we were coming here to do, why go ahead with this? Why put a noose around my brother's neck? This community deserves justice, and they're going to get it. One way or the other. Here in Richmond, people who put themselves before the group don't last long. Bring them out. Get away from me. You're making a mistake. Ava! Oh no, they had them this whole time. David wanted to tear this whole place down. He told his people where to find our gun supply, and sure enough, they picked us clean. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Joan! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. Is this the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Javi. It's about time you learn that. Joan, are you sure about this? We never agreed to killing all these people. It's really up to Javi, isn't it? All eyes are on you. Maybe this will help you make up your mind. Boys? <gasps> Come on, Javi. Who's it gonna be? Your friend? Or your brother's lieutenant? Trip has to live. He's invaluable. Son of a bitch. Javi, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not making David happy. But I respect you for sticking up for your own people. Shoot him. Wait! I said Trip should live! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. You can't do this! Fucking figures. I can do anything I want. You brought this on yourself. Do it. Wait! No! No! Oh my god. They really shot him. Oh, god damn it. Now, David, it's your turn. I can't believe this. This isn't how we do things. This is madness. Stop her, Clint. Is this the process you trusted? No. Think about this, Hobbit. You know what's gonna happen here. You ready for that? We don't murder in Richmond. We exile. That's how we've always done things. How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go far away from Richmond, and then whatever you do is up to you. I'm sure the herd outside would like that. She thinks she's sending us out there to die. She's counting on it. Everybody put your guns away. We're gonna handle this peacefully. Ah. Don't listen to them, Javi. They're fucking butchers, all of them. Shoot that bitch, take her out. She deserves it. Go to hell, Joan.
back here! Gabe, I need you to cover me. We gotta make things right. Okay. Dad needs us. We gotta get out there. He needs you. Not me. Go on. Thanks. Get over there before... Thank you.